Hello, October 6, 2021, uh, Daily Inspiration. I'm Gina Greenlee, and this is my experimental project to keep myself entertained as I am holding the space for what the universe has for me to do. Um, I am inspired by... Uh, I've made so many wonderful discoveries on the internet. I love the internet. I'm an, I'm an introvert. And so the in, internet has been such, um, in some ways, a savior. Uh, when, I guess it was 13 years ago, I, I had a very, I had a serious bout of clinical depression. And uh, uh, I needed, I started making art as uh, what turned out to be a healing practice. And I didn't have community in my analog life. I mean, I did, but um, not to the extent that I wanted it. And I mean, I was, I was just hungry for it. So going on the internet and YouTube and seeing all these incredible artists sharing their work, I mean, this is before Pinterest and Instagram. We're talking about um, Flickr. Remember Flickr? Back in the day. And, um, uh, you know, the YouTube tutorials. And I was like, oh, my God. There's this one woman who, <laughs> who did a tutorial. And she goes, I can't stop making these. She was, she, she was making, she was collecting bottle caps. And she was making some kind of something fabulous out of bottle caps. And she just said... I can't stop making these. Can somebody tell me why I'm making these? I'm, I'm not laughing at her. I was just like, I get it, you know, because I have, I have my art making frenzies. And, um, so it, it's, it was great to find that tribe. So anyway, okay. So what, what's, what I discovered on the internet in the last, I don't know, a few months has been this, the series called Style Like You, and I'll put it in the in the transcript box below the video. And I will put in the ones in particular that have inspired me. And uh, and I'll and I'll just keep it at that. What what and so I think what I want to be very clear about in this series that I'm doing, what inspired you know, it's what why I'm doing it, and I said that in the first one, what inspires me. Um, and why I'm I love this moment in history where we can capture ourselves and one another at our most authentic our most real and showing the fullness of our humanity and not posing um, you know, I, I used to look to celebrities for that, but they're in the business of, of marketing themselves. And I'm, I'm fairly certain that we're, we're not seeing, you know, we're seeing the, the commodity and not, and not the person. And so, um, I love seeing people like me, people who are not well known, who are not on the red carpet, who, are being themselves and it's it's great to to connect to that that thread of humanity so what i'm sharing today october 6 2021 that's inspiring me uh, are these interviews and again I, all the information will be in the transcript of the mother daughter team putting this out into the world and then some and then so you know the series has been going on i think at least a decade and i think they have a book out now uh, but I, I just discovered it and it's just, it's transformative. And that's, I think, uh, I think it, again, part of this experiment for me with this video series is something that, that reaches beyond me getting up and doing work and paying bills. And then, you know, at some point in the future dying, you know, they're, 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 I want more. <laughs> And, you know, I've done, you know, I have, I've traveled, I've done this, I've done that, but, you know, meaning um, Eric Mizell, and I'll be talking about uh, Dr. Eric Mizell, who I've actually studied with, and I've read so many of his books, and he's been, a, when I say a mentor to me, not someone that I 
meet with personally, but you know, through his work, he talks about meaning making and how that changes as, as we, uh, traverse our life journey. And it certainly has changed for me over time. And, and it's not, it's something that you have to create every day. You have to make meaning every day. It, it doesn't just happen and you have to do it with intention. And I also think that's what part of the series is, is that I want it to do something that, that matters, you know, <laughs> that feels like. So, um, and so uh, there's one, Amy Young, Y-E-U-N-G. Again, I will put her information in the, in the transcript, but she's somebody who I just discovered tonight uh, through this uh, Style Like You series. And she's, she's just blown me away. She's uh, of my generation. She's um, a little younger than I am. She's in her mid fifties. And um, she's, she's interested in fashion as am I. Uh, but she was this corporate fashion executive who felt, uh, she talks about having a, uh, what was a, a parent as hypocrite moment when she was working, um, helping her daughter with a, a project on environmentalism. And yet she was this high ranking executive in the fast fashion industry where, you know, this clothing, you know, goes to landfills, um, after just six months and that that really, it's something that really captured me because I, I've, I got all excited about ordering from these companies. I'm not going to name companies that, um, some young women that I know introduced me to, they were wearing masks, you know, COVID masks and they were so fashionable. I'm like, Oh, where did you get them? And they told me, and I, so I started, you know, shopping online, not, you know, sort of shopping online. And, and then I realized, I realized that what I was buying was this fast, fast fashion. And then I saw this video about what happens in the landfill and it's, oh my God, it just, so that inspired me <laughs> to, I've always been interested in, in upcycling clothes and that's inspired me to do it even more. So that's, that's what's inspiring me today. Something, you know, just discovering Amy Young through this, um, uh, the series that's been ongoing on YouTube for more than a decade called style like you, I think it's called style like you. And also having that tap into tap into something in me that I, that I wasn't fully conscious of until it got triggered by, um, now knowing something I, I didn't know and, and, and really understanding how, you know, me buying something can, or not buying something can affect, um, really future generations because, you know, I ain't going to be around here, you know, 50 years from now. So, um, that's my inspiration for today. And I'll put that, um, I'll put that information in the transcript. Thanks for joining me. And maybe I'll, you know, if I, if I get myself a young boyfriend, he can be my videographer and help me to use all this stuff. I'm totally joking. I mean, no.